Howdy folks and welcome back to another lesson. I'm going to be a little bit quiet this evening because everyone's sound asleep in bed. Shh. But in this video uh, we're going to be looking at part two of um, the Pearl Jam Down lesson and we're going to be taking a closer look at the solo sections. Now I'm going to touch on the studio version but um, one of um, the lovely patrons, Andy Erie, hi Andy, uh, suggested the Charlottesville solo, um, which I have to concede is better than the album version. Um, it's um, awesome. So we're going to be looking at that one mainly. I'll put a link below for the Charlottesville performance so you can check that out in all its glory. Uh, so let's uh, crack right on. Now I don't know this whole solo, so um, whilst I worked it out, Pretty much note for note, I'm going to have to teach some of it in chunks to you, so my apologies. So, on with the lesson. Okay, so the first phrase starts on the um, second beat, and it's a, um, a little phrase that Mike does quite a lot in a lot of his solos. Um, but you're essentially uh, going to be playing the same thing three times, which is banking your uh, first finger on the third fret on the B and E string, but hammering on from the third fret to the fifth fret on the B. So. Now, when you go to the um, the third fret on the E string, now I'm also taking my finger off uh, the um, the fifth fret on the B string. Uh, otherwise, you get kind of washes together. So you want to keep that nice and clean. So. So the first phrase goes. So after three of those, you're going to play So nothing out of the ordinary there um, and It's just a lovely little rundown, so you're going to go um, Watch out for the fingering here, so Pretty straightforward. Let me play it really, really slowly so you can see what's happening. Two, three, four, one. Okay. Then the next bit goes. Um, but. To get to the next bit, you really want to be playing the um, third fret on the B string with your first finger. So the transition is loads easier if you keep um, the last part of this phrase. So loads easier if you're just using your first finger there. And then you're going to play. Play that slowly. Two, three. Okay, I'm not going to labour that because I want to go to the um, Charlottesville one. Now, when Mike plays the Charlottesville solo, He's um, fleshed this out loads more. I think it's just got um, a more kind of melodic um, feel to it. He's not doing anything that radically different. He's still playing in the same area on the guitar. Um, but have a listen to um, how this compares. <laughs> It's 
so this one starts off on the fourth beat. So you're going to be playing two, three, four. <laughs> I think just sounds a little bit more melodic and fluid really. So on the fourth beat he plays So the first phrase goes one, two, three Okay, so that to speed. It's a great little lick. Slowly. It's brilliant. Um, I'll play that very slowly, and I'll break it into um, I'll break it into chunks. So the first part goes. So that is just a hammer on. The next phrase down goes, which is um, two pull offs. Okay, so that again. Um, and you're going to change position there, so. see that in the tab okay um, and the next bit is this little almost like a call and answer thing isn't it you know um, and at the end of the phrase there's a bend so you're gonna hear so that so he's doing a slide and a pull-off and a bit later on you hear two pull-offs, okay? So... And that's a full bend. Now the second phrase um, tags straight onto that. So when you get to the... But anyway... That second section is going from the bend. Okay, so it's just sort of really staccato-y um, little phrase, um, which I think adds a bit of nice bit of syncopation. Okay, so let me play that slowly. That stuff is done pretty much um, just using pentatonic. And the notes that you're playing are really just. Now, forgive me for the second solo. Um, I don't know it, so um, I'm just going to have to teach you it in chunks as best I can. So the um, the first bit it comes out of um, um, Mike's. <laughs> But you go straight into this. This kind of um, triplety uh, run. When Mike goes to the D. He plays um, something like that. And I'm doing a, an appro approximation of my own tab because um, otherwise I'll just never get this video up and I really wanted to get this up so that um, Andy and the rest of you can get cracking on it. So leading into the solo, coming out of the, the held D chord. Then you're into the... So I think you play four of the... And after that, you play. And I think the last two phrases go. So, essentially, you're going to be playing. But 
but this is a triplet, so it's... So that first bit's quick, okay? It's so fast, it's hard to play slow, it really is, so it's... I think. So, four of those. Um, and then you've got a basically uh, just a basic pentatonic blues lick uh, that comes out of it, okay? So, let me try and play it through, okay? So, from the fast bit. Two, three, four. Okay, so the, the actual second riff goes... And then, similar phrase to before... And then you're playing these extremely bluesy uh, runs, so you're um, basically playing the 7th fret on the uh, G and E string down to the 5th fret. But, and this is something that makes it so difficult to, to write this solo out, is because it's, um, well, it's basically just noodling. So it's... So you can get the same effect if you play. So if you just noodle around those bits, it'll sound very, very similar to Mike's style. Um, and part of Mike's style is that it's very fluid and free. So um, I doubt he's thinking much about this. So. That sort of makes it harder to mimic this exactly, but the tab is there if you want it, so I'll play it slowly. Um, so once you've done this blues run... There's a bit of a slide, I think, there, so it goes... And then you are going to be playing this little rundown again. It's all around here. But this time, and you're probably going to need to get some fingers behind these, these notes. That is a workout, I tell you. A lot easier if you play it up there. Anyway. So, you're going to be playing... So that last phrase is just... Hard to get that um, bend pitch correct. Then he plays this um, phrase, which repeats around twice, with a slight variance at the end, but it's essentially the same. That's it. So that's basically just... Again, you're still playing. You've just gone up an octave, okay? So you're up on the 12th fret, basically. So, um, still pentatonic. Anyway, this lick to speed goes. Okay, that slowly is... Um, just a, a pull off. So this phrase, and again, then there's a bend, and a release, and a pull off. And then the next phrase just adds to the last part of the phrase. So that, la that second phrase goes... Okay. And the, fr 
phrase that follows on from that goes. So. And then that bends as effectively the end of that phrase. Okay, so that through. So after that bend and release, that is the first beat of the next bar. Okay, so two, three, four. So again, just playing around the pentatonic. Um, so, I'll, but I'll play that through slowly. So it's. through one more time so then there's some bends on the um, 12th fret so that phrase goes This next bit I find really tricky. Um, you can, you're back down here with the. Bit of a repeated phrase from earlier. In fact, I think that might be from the album version. Um, which it is. So. Um, He's just post his own line there. Then you're going to go to these um, uh, these country bends again. This down here, tough. I find these tough. Okay, so okay, but just down that end of the fretboard. Um, and it ends a little bit similar to the album version as well, because you're going to go into um, a repeat of this. And then the last phrase is, which is another variation on the theme. Uh, and then uh, you're at the end. So let me go through that um, other part, which is, Man, I can't even remember that bit. Now the last part, I'm going to cheat massively. I'm going to play to you through my phone. Have a listen to this. Anyway, that's how it sounds on that. Um, I'll put that up at Patreon if anybody wants it. it. It'll help you listen through it because it's late and I can't get that last phrase into my head. So my apologies. But um, I just wanted to make sure I got this um, tune out there for you. Hopefully with the tab and the uh, the odd little bits and pieces that I've put together for you, that's enough for you to uh, to crack on and uh, maybe even put your own little, little take on it as well. So uh, I hope that was fun. And uh, until next time. Cheers. Bye-bye.